This tutorial is going to show you how to animate a camera through the scene so the camera follows the character as it moves through the environment. So the start scene includes a rigged character and about 15 seconds of walk cycle animation. At the moment we're looking through the producer perspective camera but the way to do this is to create custom cameras and by doing that we would need to go to the templates folder and in the subfolder called elements we can find a camera and drag it into the scene. Once we've done that it's a good idea to name the camera so that it has a name that relates to what it's doing. So in the navigator window here we look in the folder for the cameras we can see we've got our custom camera there called camera and we can rename that to Mia cam and then in the view from our perspective camera menu we can choose to look through Mia cam now at the moment when you first create a custom camera it normally just points to the ground it's in it's based up in just slightly above the um, ground plane and they're pointing at the ground so just by pressing alt and I can tumble the camera bring it back and so forth you will find that to get a more fine-grained movement of the camera it's better to use these manipulators here so this one will track the camera left right up down this one will rotate the camera and so on now this one here will so-called dolly the camera. Dolly is a term from the movie business where you've got a camera on a tripod and the tripod is on a device with wheels that allows you to move the whole combination towards or away from the subject. It doesn't zoom the lens. The focal length on a dolly camera will remain the same. If you're just moving the camera either towards or away from the subject. If you want to change the focal length, in other words, zoom in and out, then you use this one. So there's zooming in, zooming out. So that's giving you a telephoto effect. This one's giving you a wide angle effect. See how the ground plane is becoming very steep, the perspective. And that's about a standard focal length for this, in, for this scene. And this one will also roll the camera and so on. So if I want to make the camera follow this character, I'll need to set some keyframes on the timeline. And to do that, I go into the key controls here and I choose to key the current camera. Now, at the moment, the character is moving across the camera. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a key at this point. And you can see there's a key marker under the timeline marker. Now I'm going to move the timeline on to about 120 and I'm going to now move track the camera along so that Mia is in view. Dolly back slightly and now I'm setting another key. And if I play that between the two keys you should find the cameras following Mia through that part of the environment. Obviously as the camera gets to the key point it stops moving. So at the moment I've got two keys, the start key there and now track, I so-called track the character moving through the environment by moving the camera alongside it. Now let's try sweeping around and getting a front view of Maya. So let's move the time line slider onto a frame around 192. I'm going to tumble the camera around, dolly it back, and just try and manipulate the camera so I'm getting a bit of a close-up. So you may have to choose to use all of these to get exactly the orientation you want. Dolly in again, track down, and I'm going to set another key and hopefully now 
we'll be keying it between this point here, 120, and frame 192. So let's again play the entire sequence thus far. There we are. So let's now move the character on to frame 240 and dolly out the camera, set a keyframe, move on to around 288, dolly out the camera and also tumble around. Track that across slightly, set a keyframe, and then move the character on to the end of the sequence. Dolly out the camera. This time we'll zoom in to get a close up. set a keyframe there. Let's try that one. Right, let's run that sequence from the start. So in this tutorial you've been shown how to set up a custom camera and then animate it via the timeline by setting keyframes after moving the camera around the character.